All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here on Nick Tech Power. So I wanted to make a video addressing Big Rami and whether or not I think he can win the Olympia. Now, this is a question I've been getting pretty frequently now. Um, I've made a video about this actually back in 2014, making my predictions for the 2015 Mr. Olympia. Because back then, Big Rami's, you know, the Big Rami hype train was really at its peak popularity. Everyone thought that was the year that Big Rami was going to dethrone Phil back in 2015. And I made a video prior to that Olympia saying, you know, he's not going to win it. Big Rami is not going to win the 2015 Mr. Olympia. And sure enough, I was right. And Big Rami would place fifth in the Olympia that year. So I wanted to address that for the 2017 Mr. Olympia. Will this be the year that Big Rami dethrones Phil? So before we answer that question, the main distinction needs to be made between the two questions that are being asked. The first question is, will Big Rami win the Olympia? And the second question is, can Big Rami win the Olympia? And there's a difference between those two questions because the answer to can Big Rami win the Olympia is absolutely yes. From a bodybuilding standpoint alone, just looking at Big Rami's structure, his physique, his muscularity, his muscle mass, his weight, all those factors combined uh, with his symmetry and his proportions and the balance of his physique, I think he could win the Olympia at any time he wanted to. Um, but the real question is, will Big Rami win the Olympia? And that's a different question entirely because there's other factors at play um, besides just his physique from a purely bodybuilding standpoint. Now, whether or not we want to admit that there's politics in bodybuilding, um, we kind of have to uh, concede that there are. Politics definitely determine the outcomes of bodybuilding contests. And you guys have seen that in some of the other videos that I've made about past Mr. Olympia contests, including the 1980 Mr. Olympia. Um, if you haven't seen that video, go check that video out. That was the most controversial Mr. Olympia of all time. There were a lot of politics that were believed to play into that one, as well as the Olympia the following year in 1981. So there's definitely politics at play in the Olympia. So will these politics prevent Big Rami from winning the Mr. Olympia competition? Um, so the number one thing that I think is going to be holding Big Rami back, whether it's right or wrong, is the fact that he can't really speak fluent English. Now, I've heard him say some English words here and there, um, just a brief, basic understanding of English, but not really a complete grasp. Um, anytime I've heard him speak or give a speech or try to address an American or English audience, it seems like he doesn't really have that good of an understanding of English, and it's really hard to understand understand him speak. Now, unfortunately, this is a major setback for somebody wanting to win the Mr. Olympia competition. The reason being is because not only is the Mr. Olympia winner just a winner of a contest, but from that year until the next year's Mr. Olympia, that Mr. Olympia is an ambassador for the sport of bodybuilding. He's an ambassador for the IFBB, and he has to be able to communicate with the main, uh, the main audience of bodybuilding. Now, I know there's definitely a whole lot of international fans of bodybuilding, but there's no argument that can be made that the United States is not the heart of bodybuilding. The United States is basically the mecca of bodybuilding, and the, the world is basically watching what happens in the U.S. The Olympia is held in the U.S., the Arnold is held in the U.S., all the major major competitions, the top three, the night of uh, the New York Pro, the Olympia, the Arnold, they're all held in the U.S. So all, all eyes are on the U.S. and all the fans, for the most part, um, are looking at the United States. The main language in the U.S. is English. So obviously, to be successful in the United States, to be successful in the United States fan base, you have to speak English. So I think that's going to be something that holds him back until he learns to speak English. And for this year's Olympia, it seems like up until this point, he still has not completely gotten a grasp on the English language. Now, if he does down in the future, some point down the road, I think that might help him win the Mr. Olympia. But right now, I think that's definitely a political factor that's holding Big Rami back. Now, I know it's unfair because I personally believe believe he has the physique of a Mr. Olympia champion, um, but we have to admit that these politics are definitely active. They're definitely in play. These are definitely things that we need to consider. I mean, look at Phil Heath, for example. Now, there's a lot of mixed feelings about Phil Heath. Some people love him. Some people hate him. But look at all the things that he's doing as Mr. Olympia. Um, I know sometimes he says some things he shouldn't say on Twitter, on social media, on Instagram. But he's constantly engaging his fans. He's constantly interacting with them. He's constantly posting videos. Um, he's constantly giving speeches. And he's, he's doing it all in English. So that's one indicator of the power of a Mr. Olympia that can speak English because he has the ability to communicate with the majority of his fans um, that speak that language. The other thing to consider is the NPC. So what is the main source of IFBB professional bodybuilders? The NPC. And what does NPC stand for? The National Physique Committee. What nation are they referring to? Is there an NPC in Mexico? No, it's NPC, the United States. 
Um, so the National Physique Committee is based in the United States. And that is the main source of money for the NPC, for the IFBB, for the organization through you know promoting contests, having all these competitors, and then having these competitors turn pro and feeding into the IFBB. So definitely the competitor market as well as the fan market are both based in the United States. The NPC is the National Physique Committee of the United States, and that is the main source of pros for the IFBB. So anyone who thinks that, uh, you know, nationality or the, the ability to speak a language don't play a factor in winning a show, it definitely does because the United States is the mecca of bodybuilding. Now, I, I personally think that's unfair and I don't think that should be the case, but it is. I mean, you just got to consider these factors when you when you talk about whether or not Big Rami can win a show, win the Olympia. Those are some of the factors to consider. Now, the shows that Big Rami has won were shows outside of the United States. The Arnold Classic Brazil in 2015, he won that show. Um, let's see, the Kuwait Pro in 2016, he won that show. And the only show that he's won in America is the 2013 and 2014 uh, New York Pro. So those weren't that big of a show. Top three, but not that big as the Olympia. Um, so the question is, can he win the Olympia or will he win the Olympia? Can he? Yes, he absolutely can win the Olympia just off the merit of his physique alone. Will he win the Olympia? Now, that's a whole other question. I think, will he? Probably not unless he learns to speak English. So that is my answer. I don't think he's going to win the 2017 Olympia if he cannot speak English at that point in time. So that's my assessment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.